followers of Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under. Um, yeah, I've been on this planet for 63 years now, and never in my whole 65 years have I seen anything <laughs> like uh, what we're seeing these days. So uh, what we get now is uh, there's an emergency. There's a there's a, a um, hijacked plane in Schiphol Airport at... Uh, uh, in Amsterdam airport and um, the police are actively uh, investigating it and then after a while we get the message oh sorry it was a f false alarm everything's all right just uh, forget about it so uh, just in brief here goes uh, some reporting and you can have a look at the uh, the news sources yourself to talk about this Wednesday, November 6, 2019, there was allegedly an attempted plane hijacking at Amsterdam's main airport. It's named the Schiphol, S-C-H-I-P-O-L, Schiphol Airport in Amsterdam. Initial reports came in that at least one hijacker and possibly three placed knives to the throats of people as the aircraft was being boarded for takeoff. Reports also say that the captain of the plane hit the hijack code on the aircraft transponder while the plane was at the gate, which triggered a major police response uh, there was a ground hold for all aircraft at uh, Schiphol airport no takeoffs no landings terminal d as in david was closed by police i have photos on my website of the uh, vacant airport terminal the plane involved was at uh, terminal d as in david gate seven it was reportedly an Air Europa uh, aircraft, an Airbus, I think it's an A300. The flight schedule showed that aircraft was supposed to fly from Amsterdam to Madrid, Spain. Now, local sources said it was Air Europa flight UX1094, and there was reportedly a hostage situation on board. Well, about an hour into this, police were on the scene. The uh, Amsterdam equivalent of a SWAT team was on the scene. Airport fire department was there. Multiple EMS ambulances were, you know, standing by. F-16 fighter jet was sortied and flying above the airport in case air support or an intercept was needed. About 90 minutes into this, the, we, we received information that the passengers and crew were safely taken off the plane. And about five minutes after that, authorities in Amsterdam called the entire situation a false alarm. <laughs> uh, there was no men with, there were no men with knives. Uh, uh, there was no hijacking. Uh, uh, no one was being held hostage. Uh, this was a false alarm. Bullshit. I'm sorry to say it that way, but there is no possible way to enter the hijack code, which is 7500, into an aircraft transponder by mistake, right? There's no way to do it by mistake. Aircraft captains don't make mistakes like that, especially while parked at a gate in an airport. So it looks as though this may be a cover-up. And uh, it would be simple. Authorities don't want to have to explain how three guys got knives through security. So now they're saying, eh, it never happened. It's all a big mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I don't know what the inside is. I mean, I, I've talked to some intelligence 
uh, colleagues over in Europe. And uh, everything that they told me indicates that this was actual attempted hijacking. Uh, but, uh, the you know, the police in uh, Amsterdam are saying, no, no, nothing happened. So I don't know what to believe. But I tend to believe that there was an attempted hijacking, and I tend to believe the reason they're saying, no, nothing happened, is because they don't want to have to explain how guys with knives may have gotten through airport security.